Now then, now then, now then, now then, um, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a good Friday evening. Uh, and hope all is well with you and yours and whatever is going on in this weekend. There's a massive final on. I know you're all watching it. Copper America. Yeah, man. That's what it's all about. Also, Conor McGregor's fighting in the UFC. Uh, everyone happy days? Yeah, do you know what? I was busy. I had some like urgent shit I had to attend to. So I do apologise that I'm late. But, you know, you're used to this by now, surely. And if you're not... Welcome. You're clearly fucking new. All right, we've got loads of stuff to talk about. This geezer, Rafael Varan. Do you want him? Yeah. Are we getting him? Maybe. Um, there's some talk that this is actually really going down now with Rafael Varan. Um, Real Madrid apparently have given us a green light to to get a deal negotiated for him. Uh, Ancelotti has come out and said, supposedly, according to Sport, that everything is ready with Manchester United uh, and they still demand an asking price of around 60 million euros. El Mundo reckon that United are willing to pay 50 million euros. That's close. That's really close, isn't it? So, for me, these are the ones that you do. Like, it's a phrase that I use all the time and there's a reason I use it all the time. It's because I fucking believe it. You need players that walk in and go, I'm here. I'm fucking starting. That's it. That is it. Uh, Breakdown says, his positioning is not always perfect. Name me anyone who is. It's pretty good, though. Um, what do I make of Chong to Birmingham now official? We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, yeah, Steve's always punctual and always stays on topic. Correct. Oh, 21 carat, uh, 24 carat plunker says, whiskey and a Chinese. That's a man who knows how to a fucking party on a Friday night. Well played, our kid. Well played. Um, and G Bart says, Hi, Steve. Hope you're good, mate. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Um, it's uh, my birthday, says Eric. Happy birthday, pal. Um, Sam Doden says, 50 to 60 million. Great price. Uh, or agree to have him next year. Uh, Douglas Shields says, Inside the mind of Steve, Camavinga or Saul. Inside the mind of Steve, I'd roll with both. However, I'm almost tempted to have a minute silence here. If fucking Saul goes to the Scousers, I'm going to throw up. Hey, man, love the channel all the way from Ethiopia. Fucking hell, nice. Um, Kung Powson Chicken. I like that one. I like that one. I'll give you that one. Maguire has decent communication and could mop up the mistakes in Varane's game. He's no Ramos, is he? Let's be honest. But maybe, here's the thing. Maybe if you are Varane and you're playing alongside Ramos, see, th one of the things that I'm absolutely fucking loving um, with working with Rio is the guy just drops gems on the floor. I mean, I don't mean literally, although I'm sure he's got the fucking dosh too. He just drops gems on the floor. He hasn't got a fucking clue that he's doing it. But just having conversations with him about certain aspects of the game, you pick up a lot. You pick up so fucking much. And one of the things I've picked up about him is he's talking about defensive positioning, when to go, when to stay. Uh, to stay. Rio liked to sit off and, and observe and organise, and that's what he was really good at. Now, he used to say to Vidic, you go and I'll mop up behind you. So someone's saying uh, Varane's positioning is not great. Maybe that's what Ramos says to him, though. Maybe Ramos goes, don't worry, and he can take a risk then at times. Because you can't always, you can't be perfect. Danny Eganbottom had one of the best lines ever about this. Now, obviously, played for Stoke, played for Derby, come for it, United. Danny Eganbottom, at, at playing at Stoke, I think he learned so much about football because that's real. Playing at Manchester United, you just turn up and expect to win every single week. It's not really everyone's uh, sort of experience of football and professional football. You have to see um, what's happening in terms of... Uh, how you're going to make changes, how you're going to attack games, how you're going to set up tactically in all of these different kind of matches. And that, for me, is where you really find out the nuts and bolts of football. And Danny says, when he was uh, under Pulis at Stoke, you would have to say, right, United are coming to town, Arsenal, when they were good, they're coming to town, here's what we're going to do. A couple of people in the comments saying, no super chats. Um, I don't know, we'll set this up. Super Chats is disabled, apparently, William. Any, any ideas? No ideas. Well, sorry. Tie, tie cash to a pigeon and send it out the door. See if it gets here. Um, with, I'll just ask you questions. I'm going to read the questions out anyway. You don't need a Super Chat. I'm just fucking ask the questions. 
And if you want to support the channel, become a Patreon. A link for that is in the description. Um, and you'll get more out of it than just asking a question. Um, come and join the Patreon rather than doing a super chat. Um, but if you want to ask a question, just ask your questions and I'll, I'll get to as many as I can. So what Danny used to say is, when Arsenal come to town, when United come to town, you have to, there has to be a give and take. You can't say, I want to be defensively secure and I want to dominate midfield and I want to have numbers in attack every single time. And I want to dominate possession and I don't want them to have chances. Like, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You have to give and take, especially in a big game. You're going to go, oh, yeah, we want to be strong here. We'll give up that. Now, what they used to do at Stoke was they used to say, we will be strong in the centre and we'll give them the wings. And they used to let the grass grow in the wings. Or, or they used to do the opposite and they used to let the grass grow in the centre of the pitch and they would cut it and water it on the wings because they knew they were going to attack down those channels. And this is what you have to do sometimes. You have to be able to give and take in it. And people forget about that sometimes. Um, season tickets sold out. Um, I would have thought it was gone anyway, to be honest. Um, look how Maguire is playing with Stones. Imagine him next to Varane, who is an upgrade on Stones, says Nicholas Moore. Great point. Any Barcelona players I would take for free because of their financial uh, issues? Um, Titi as a backup or centre-back? Yeah, maybe if you can get rid of, like, Jones and that. Uh, Chappie says, love you, bro. I'm from Ethiopia, the only land of history makers, the only African country not colonised. Ethiopia's got some fucking badass history. Um, I know everyone thinks of pyramids. They think of, like, Egypt and that, but I know Ethiopia's got some, like, mad ancient ruins and stuff like that. I'd love to visit Ethiopia. Looks banging. Um, would I rather have Declan Rice or Camavinga? Rice is more immediate, but I think the ceiling on Camavinga is higher. Speaking of Higginbottom, uh, I'd love to see him on the channel again sometime. One of the best ex pros to live in. For me, he's the best in the game. He's absolutely fantastic. And um, unfortunately, he's in America now. Um, but I'd love to link up with Danny um, next time I can. I've got his American number, though, so I, I can fucking drop him a line. Unrelated, but remember when Perlo chipped Hart at 2012, Italy usually beat England. Yeah, well, who gives a fuck? Um, need to know when Pogba's fu what Pogba's future is. What's the price tag? Um, I think we will find out very quickly. If we get into September and there's no new deal for Pogba, he's just going on a free. Uh, best thing that I've picked up from Rio and implemented at Paddock FC? I think... It was a combination of Rio and um, Rene, and it was the uh, L shapes on um, on corners. It was both of them. Um, we haven't conceded a set piece, although we conceded two free kicks at the weekend, but we haven't conceded from a corner or a free kick, uh, like an indirect one, since January, um, since I got this. Or, or Well, yes, yeah, we, haven't, we haven't conceded from longer than that, probably October. But um, we implemented this in January or started implementing this in training in January. And then obviously from, um, I think, March, when we came back for the cup, we didn't concede from it. And we were very strong with it. It's, it worked really well. Um, Paddock or United? What sort of fucking question is that? Um, of course it's United. Um, one's a fucking hobby. One's a team I've fucking been a lifelong fucking supporter of. M nonsense. Um that on corners, the, also what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about being able to sit off and, and one go and one and one push, I'm going to be implementing that soon, um, definitely. Uh, do I really think we will sell Pogba? We'll go on and get De Jong. Barcelona might be open to selling with their issues. Could be. Um, what's the rum for today? I haven't had any rum today. I might have some this weekend, though. We've got a double header for Paddock FC tomorrow. First some reserves. First time we've both been playing at the same venue at essentially the same time. So I might have a rum after that tomorrow. Um, Varan lets us play 1DM instead of McFred. It might. Are there any data analytical positions still open at Paddock FC? Yes. Um, I believe Yayan, who is our analyst at the moment is recruiting people to do remote video stuff so if you're interested in doing that then uh get in touch somehow and uh you can do that garner's future especially if we sign camavinga says adam it'd be very interesting to see what happens with garner to be honest i think he's gonna get another uh deal on loan and i think that's probably gonna be the best thing for him because i don't think he's necessarily ready to rumble could sell in pogba be our coutinho moment says james 
I think you're right, mate. I think it could be, yeah. Hello from Sri Lanka. Hello. Uh, streaming the double header on Twitch. We're not quite there yet, to be honest. I think we could get there. With a 5G uh, dongle, it's doable. Um, but you need a stadium. You need the infrastructure. Um, and we're struggling for somewhere to fucking play, to be honest. So um, it's not going to happen just yet. It's harder than you think, but it's also possible. If I like Diplomatico, you should keep down the list of premium Venezuelan rooms and try Robol Viejo. Um, okay. Are we getting Rio down at a paddock game? Yes. Rio's got his own shirt. Yeah, look. Ready for him. Whenever that's needed. Uh, Alanga will start on fire for preseason. I hope so. Uh, shout out all the way from Hawaii. Uh, do I believe Ollie's coaching will actually help Varane? I feel like uh, we'll see some downsides in his game because of the coaching staff. Based on what, though? Look at the improvements that loads of the players have made. And even Harry Maguire, to be honest. Wh why would you think that, to be honest? Best rum is Bundaberg from Australia. I'm not Australian. I disagree fucking strongly, but you crack on. We need Calvin Phillips ASAP. First shout I've seen for that, to be honest. I think he's a good player, but I'm not sure he's, he's the world-class level. Of, and maybe we need a bit more of a water carrier. Um, Pogba needs to go, said David Keenan. Well, on that front, let's talk about what some people think could be a replacement and some people think could be um, a number six. And that is Camavinga. So, is the, the word. So, United have supposedly had the strongest contact so far with his representatives. €30 million Euros has been our offer. Uh, and like Laurie Whitwell saying that, they would accept anywhere between 30 and €40 million. Uh, Any move would be complicated because Camavinga seemingly has lots of options. He would prefer a move to Spain with Barcelona and Madrid interested, but they're going to struggle, both of them, obviously, because of their debt. PSG supposedly playing the patience card uh, and Chelsea, Real Madrid have also been in contact with his agent. Ren would like a bidding war. Of course they would. That's the game. And maybe that's why you're seeing all these names linked. Maybe there's not really much interest from those either. Uh, and football's crisis is particularly hard in France due to the recent collapse of League Un's TV rights deal with Media Pro. Clubs need cash. That being the case, you might be able to go to France and pick up several bargains, not just one. Um, Eric says, you are not reading my questions. Well, I'm try have you seen how many questions there are? I'm going to miss loads. It's not intentional. It's just, you've got to keep it moving. Um, Camavinga, I really like the look of. I don't think he walks into the team and becomes that first choice player this year. I think he eventually does, but does Oli have that time? I'm sure the player does, um, but does Oli have that time? I don't know. Uh, Berbatov said yesterday we need Phillips, did he? Go on, lad. Um, our youth reviews coming back to the channel, says Paul McKeown. Here's the thing. Um, probably yes. Possibly not. Maybe monthly. Here's the thing. I stopped doing them because it didn't feel right to me to be, to be doing the youth reviews um, with only watching them on TV. Um, I wanted to be at the ground to do them, and it didn't feel right doing them when I was just watching it on TV. Um, and obviously we've had COVID lately, so I've not been able to get to the ground for that. The year prior to that, we just had a, a little girl. She's like two and a half now. And um, I hadn't been able to go um, because of her being so young and, and needing to look after her. So, yeah. Uh, Steve, the boys doing a watch along for the final. Yeah, I'm working on five Rio's channel for it. So uh, come and check that one out if you want to tune in. I believe... We've got Wes Brown on the watch along for us as well. And you're going, fuck, can I got Wes Brown on the watch along? Yeah, we do. We've had some fucking belting guests on there. If you've not seen what we've been doing over the summer, we had Alan Shearer, we've had Gary Lineker, we've had Anton Ferdinand on. Obviously, Rio was himself came on a watch along. It's fucking class. Um, Camavinga's six foot, Steve. Uh, blame Will. Go and tweet Will. Say, Will, get your fucking shit together. Um, Salt of Liverpool is a travesty, says Sir Crackerjack. I agree. Uh, Reese says, you probably already said this, but now Sancho is sorted. Who next, realistically? It looks like Camavinga, doesn't it, if you're talking to it? It looks like they're also trying to work on Varane, but it doesn't seem that we can do two at once. 
should United be shifting formation to 4 3 3? Yes. Don't know if we're there yet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Steve Fletcher, yes, Big Wes. Um, yep. Can I answer Eric's question? Who's Eric? I can't see any Eric on here. Um, what youth team player do I see having a breakthrough year? Um, could be Levitt. It, it could be Galbraith. I think those two are ready for it. I think they probably both need to go on loan. What's the best football gossip I haven't said on camera yet? Uh, I do know some loan deals. Uh, I'll be putting them on Patreon probably over the weekend. So if you want to know who's going on loan, not the most exciting fucking breaking deals, is it? But I'll stick them on Patreon over the weekend. Uh, is Camavinga, Sancho and Varane back in Oli? Oh, is signing Camavinga, Sancho and Varane back in Oli? Does he need more? I think it's pretty good. I still think we need probably more. Douglas just wrote Angel Gomez. I don't know what that means. Still need Nicky Butt on five. Want to hear what Murta is really like, says James. Um, Nicky was meant to do tonight, um, but is unavailable. Um, I think there's a chance we might get Mike Phelan. Um, we did have Mike Phelan booked in for today. Um, actually, right fucking now, we was meant to have been recording it, which is why I'm still here on a Friday. Um, but he's had to cancel, so I think we're trying to rearrange. Did Varane reply to Rio's message? Apparently, yes. He's not told me what he said yet, though. Um, more of Maybury, maybe if we don't get Camavinga. Totally different footballer, but maybe, yeah. Uh, what are we winning this year? I think we could go far in the Champions League. I don't think we're ready to win it, but I wouldn't mind, like, semi-finals or something like that. The youth player that's going to make a, a breakthrough this year, says Douglas, Angel Gomez. Yeah, at fucking Lille, who he plays for, he doesn't fucking play for us anymore. Oh, thoughts on the Chong loan. Um, do you think he can show his undoubted talent? I don't think he's all that, is my thoughts on him. Are the shirts on sale and can they ship to Nigeria? Yep, all the paddock merch ships worldwide. If you want the home shirt, which we've we got here. Here, and obviously that one's Rio's. You can find them on shop.stretfordpaddockfc.com and the away shirt will be out as of, I think, next week. The away shirt's coming out. We're wearing the away shirt tomorrow for the first time. I think you can buy it from next week. Um, would I like to see an all or nothing documentary on United? I would. They're never going to do it, I don't think. Uh, is Camavinga a DM or uh, Pogba plays? He can do both. I think he's going to be a DM. A lot of people think he's more like Pogba. The more I watch of him, the more I think what he's going to grow into is going to be a DM. Not necessarily like Kante. I think he's going to be his own little thing, which maybe, maybe at times looks a bit more like Carrick. Maybe it looks a bit like Matic. Maybe it looks a little bit, you know, maybe it does look a little bit like Kante at times, but I think he's going to be his own um, things. Uh, Dwight York or Robin Van Persie? Ooh. Do you know what? We had them both. And how fucking cool was that? Uh, need Mason to get in the gym with Alanga? I'm sure he is. Don't you worry about that one. Am I going to make a blue one this year, considering our third kit? Uh, no. And for those who are lucky enough to get their hands on a green and gold... If you ordered one of our green and golds um, and you're not one of the ones that have emailed us saying, where is it? Go and read the thing. It was a pre-order. You're getting them in September, but we've just been sent a fabric sample. How fucking cool did they look? So I've just now approved the fabric and uh, they will be on our way to us in September. If you didn't get one of them, well, you missed out because we'll never be selling them again. Uh, do I trust United to have a good summer and finally give our manager a fighting chance? No. Uh, if we don't get Varane, should we go for Kunde rather than Pow Pow? <laughs> uh, yes. Thoughts on some of the leak kick designs? I think the white, the red one looks all right, I think. Yeah. Uh, any trips to Ireland in the future? Yes, undoubtedly. We were, we were wanting to do a podcast as Paddock over in Ireland um, or even one of my Patreon ones. Um, but obviously, we were planning this. We were planning these from about December, two years ago, essentially now, from uh, 
all that lot and then fucking covid hit didn't it and like travel's basically illegal now so what we do with that i don't fucking know but it's a ball bust i know that for free um pal toys looks crap says ryan liggett hope you're not a professional scout hope we get villarreal in the champions league group i'll come Hanato Sanchez could be the busy little cunt we need in midfield, says Mellow out. Uh, would I get cool about it? I would. On Renato Sanchez or Renato Sanchez, for me, I can't. I can't go with him, to be honest, man. I really can't. I struggle with him. Yeah. Did Juventus spoil Pogba by giving him too much freedom? I think if he stayed, Fergie would have cultivated him into a complete midfielder in defence and attack. I mean, he's not bad. Not bad, is he? He's done all right. He's not had a bad career, has he? Uh, righty. I'm going to call it a day there. Cheers for tuning in. It's been nice to talk to you. Uh, have a good weekend. If you're in the Denton area tomorrow and you want to come and watch a live football game, I think it's free of charge. Uh, come down to Denton, check out the socials, check out mine. I just retweeted it. And uh, come and get in the mixer because we've got two back-to-back -back games this week. I think we're going to have a few bevs and enjoy a football for once. Now it's kind of legal again. And um, cheers. See you in a bit.